Jack, what do we do? Keep them there till Stevens gets them. I know where they're probably headed for, Shannon. If you'll follow me, I think we can land them. Why, sure thing, Spike. Lead the way. All right, I've got to get my car. Sure got back quick. Get the boss on the radio. Everything went haywire. police until I can get back that confession I signed. It'd be hard to explain it from their hands. All right, I got it. The bomb hit dead center, but the girl got away. Holland was only wounded. The trial car got there before we could finish the job. To have things go as planned would be expecting too much. Have you still got Holland's confession? Yes. All right, bring it in and be sure you're not followed. Okay, boss. Give me a few minutes to look the place over and then come in after me. He was plenty sore. He wants us to bring in the Holland Confession. Who has it? I've got it here. I'll take that confession. I want to climb through on Bellamy. They had a fast car out and back. What's this, a run around? We'd have the crooks if you hadn't stalled us. Holland, you've got a lot of explaining to do to me. Right, Shannon, I know. But first, let me phone Inspector Ross. There's something he must do for me. All right, let's go to it. As few words as possible, tell me exactly what happened. Plenty happened. After our radio call, Holland busted in on us. He something. didn't get the confession. Oh, no. He started a battle on Tony Plugger. Valerie. Dad, we need your help. Spike has a plan. No more plans, please. I'm in the mood right now to give up the whole thing. We're not giving up, Mr. Howard. What I propose to do will give us plenty on Bellamy. A chance to lock him up. All right, you win. I'll do all I can, which hasn't been much up to now. Shall I turn Holland's confession over to the police? No, we'll wait and see how badly Holland's hurt. All right, men, relax. I hope it works. <laughs> 
things click right, Inspector Ross will have that fake newspaper in Bellamy's hands before tonight. Oh, Henderson. Uh, yes, sir. You go outside and keep watch. Let no one in until I tell you. Yes, sir. No one to enter. Very good, sir. Right. We'll go upstairs and set the stage. she said. I believe I caught her before she had time to complete the call. If nothing happens by tonight, it's proof the call didn't get through. Hello, Lady Manor. All right, thanks a lot for trying anyway. Just I thought it comes from an unlisted phone, probably a tapped wire. What can we do to find her? I'm not sure, but we'll try harder than ever. We know Bellamy's at the bottom of this, and I'm convinced that she's somewhere in Dark Castle. Then why not tear the place apart, stone by stone? Now, look, dear, just be patient a little longer. If we attack now at the wrong time, they might destroy Elaine. We'll get in that castle and with the law on our side. But first, I've got to get back that confession they made me sign. Oh, nobody believed that confession. Captain Thompson, the Godchester police, wouldn't throw me in jail that quick. And I'd be useless to you, locked up. Now, I've got to get busy. If Inspector Ross does his job, Abel Bellamy will be worried over something he's reading in the evening papers right now. Turn up, Valerie. It'll turn out all right. Hi. Oh, there, there, there. Fellow well, Holland's got more lives than a cat. Either our men bungle the job or he outguesses them. He's got brains. Only lucky. If he had brains, he'd realize that the attempts on his life started from here. Why doesn't he take police action? For two reasons. First, because he lacks substantial cooperative proof. Second, because he suspects that I know the whereabouts of my brother's wife, and he's afraid to act for fear that I might dispose of her. No, Savini. Holland's afraid to act. Governor! Oh, Governor! It goes against my edicts to bring bad news. But read that. Ethics is the word, Dinky. Read it, Savini. Police promise sensational expose. Local detective expected to reveal name of gang leader. Spike Holland, wounded in gun battle with gangsters, is in serious condition at Lady's Manor. And is expected to reveal name of higher up in recent jewel robberies. As soon as his physician allows him to be questioned. He's going to blab. Beat him to it. Turn that confession over to the police. No, 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 no. That would only delay matters. He still proved his innocence. That confession is no good until Holland is unable to talk. That's an idea. Yes, sir. It's for you, Brad. Yeah. yeah? Oh, yes, boss. Yes, sir. I'm all dressed up and ready to go. Yes, sir. It's me for Ladies' Manor this time. A real job. What I've been waiting for. 
get downstairs. It's about time for things to pop. Can I see him? Well, I... I... Can you hear me, pal? You think you could waken him? I could get the lowdown on this. Be a feather in my cap. Oh, he's burning up with fever. You better wait downstairs and, and I'll call you the minute he's conscious. If you could talk to me, it might mean promotion. Right, he's gone. I think we've got him sold. You get downstairs, too, and keep an eye on him. Mr. Ross? Mrs. Holland. No, Holland is still unconscious. The doctor just left, but he was very encouraging. I'll notify you the minute he can talk. Oh, yes, Captain Thompson is still here. Certainly. Goodbye. Have a chair, Captain. Yeah. I'm waiting. Is he awake? No, he's sleeping. I had to get away for a few minutes later. I'd go out of my mind. Oh, I understand, darling. Green Archer, nothing. I'm going after men to round up Holland. Oh, dear. Better put this jewelry in the safe. Yes, sir. Oh, and get the Holland confession. Yes, sir. Oh, have you thrown the switch? No, I forgot. Someday you'll forget to throw the switch that contacts that gun and blow your head off. What have you got a contraption like that for, anyway? To keep anyone from getting too inquisitive? haven't overdone this. He's confessed to a lot more crimes than even we're guilty of. Well, I did the best I could. I'm sure Captain Thompson will fall for it. Come in. Well, the job's all done, Mr. Bellamy. Anyone see you? No, the butler was snooping around, but I crowned him before he got a good look at me. <laughs> Uh, 
Now we'll act. Put this away in the safe. And don't forget to throw the switch. I'll phone Captain Thompson. Give me the Garchester Police Department. Hello, Captain Thompson. This is Abel Bellamy. Don't tell me I know. Trespassers again. This guy, Spy Collins, is at the bottom of it. He got away from me right under my nose. No, no, it's not about trespassers this time, but it's about Holland, all right. I have a confession signed by him which proves conclusively that he's responsible for this crime wave that's bothered us. I'll keep this confession in my safe until you get here. Say, how about them dogs? <laughs> oh, the dogs? They're in the castle ground. I'm in my colonial home. Uh, come here. Good, I'll be right over. He went for it in a big way. He'll be right over. I'll wait upstairs. When he comes, show him in, then call me. Or let him stew a while before I make my appearance. is in session. Bellamy is planning a robbery that will bring them millions. What's this? Elaine and her guard gone? The Green Archer should have made a definite appointment. Be sure to see The Flaming Arrow, next week's shivering chapter of The Green Archer.